Take us back where we left from. And this that's what I like to see. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. <laughs> Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. Mm. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. She done fell in love, dog. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. She done fell in love with Robocop. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. I think she actually liked me, for real, for real. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Look at that. She be flirting with me, bro. In my mind, that was a flirting scene. Bro. I'm reading that. I'm picking up on that. I think she be flirting with me. in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. Do anybody else think she flirting with me? Am I the only one? Are you sure your junkie friend Stolen wallet? Stolen watch? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. This nigga right here filthy, bro. I can't hear any music. Is this supposed to be a private show? You better gave me the right information, too. I got a weak ass PI dude that, you know, he be sneaking Let's me information. Let's head up those stairs. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> Look at that. Go ahead, partner. What's good? What's good, Clutch? <laughs> Back on our Robocop. <laughs> he said, if this is PlayStation, I think the company went uh, put up business. Microsoft only makes companies. Computers only, only make it. You heard good things Ooh, about this game? I know oh, this game is legit, bro. Someone missed potty training. This game is fire, dog. I didn't think Robocop would be this fun. <laughs> And like for, for me, for some reason I always wanted to get into police games. <laughs> he ain't got drugs everywhere, bro. Stolen material. Yeah, I, I kinda like police games, dog. I don't know. It's pretty dope. I wanna take a motherfucker to jail. You know what I'm saying? Is such a great it remind me of games like true true crime. You know Regardless what I'm saying? When you had to be up. Is, I still want to see him sing. What's that true crime? You only heard a uh, um What's that true crime where we actually got to be like a cop? I think that was true crime. If I'm not mistaken. Man, these some big ass fucking flies though. Shit. But yeah, one thing about me, y'all, as y'all see, I make sure I don't leave nothing. So I check my surrounding before I move forward. So I be trying to get everything completed. Like I said, if you look, let's see. You look at all objective, we haven't missed nothing so far. I got everything knocked out. And this right here was the hardest one to serve and protect. That was the hardest one to knock out. But so far, I'm undefeated right now. I ain't missing it. You're the only one on Facebook. I'm live streaming on five platforms right now. So I think you might be the only one on Facebook. Uh, look at that. Incrimination. Incriminating pictures. He motherfucker got everything going on. Wait, I think I can hear something. Let me find out they running Maybe the prostitution ring right around here. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out some prostitution going on. Somebody going to jail. Yes. I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit. 
Shit! Pigs found our lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Yo, motherfucking ad going downtown. Goddamn Robo Man is here. My ah. bad. Fix the camera. The blurry and shit. Might be this. Might have to take out the white. I'll fix it in a second. Dang. I'll fix the camera in a second. Me. The lady you motherfucker right quick. Dang. Sorry, I got some place there. Knock him out. <laughs> I got some place there. Operator, this is Lewis. Me and Murphy discovered a torch head's nuke lab at the old slaughterhouse. Multiple subjects were neutralized, Hold on. but there are still active threats in the vicinity. Gang leader included. Should I get the AK? My bad, I'm trying to fix the camera. Mm. Let's hurry up. They probably know we're here. The way they handle Damn. those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. All right, there you go. My bad. I don't know why sometimes that motherfucker be out of sync. All right, my bad. All right, let me make sure I ain't leaving no evidence. Yep, see? Stolen wallet. So like I said, you got to understand, I'm a police officer, so I have to make sure I get all my... My evidence, man, so I can take the off the down. A nuke. And for y'all that new to this game and don't know what nuke is, nuke is cocaine, basically. <laughs> Some drugs, you know. Instead of them saying marijuana and all that stuff, they got they name it nuke. So that's what um. So far, that seemed like the plot. Another locked door. Take down need. I'm going to call this criminals. probable cause. No need for a warrant. They're all yours, partner. Uh oh. Probable cause. Won't go with the shotgun. you buy something whenever you get it. I know you I know you be normally telling people to email you but it'll be easier for a different way different form of communication than email damn what is that nigga on is that a 50 k all that nigga sent on damn shit that nigga lamb. That nigga would hit me with that old weed. Get your bitch ass from up there. I'm scared to go in there. Yeah, follow the rail, ho. Damn. I right, let me uh, uh look at the drugs. Look at fake money and everything up in this motherfucker. These niggas been doing what they wanna do, boy. Get your bitch ass. Get your bitch ass. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get your bitch ass. Where you going? I ain't gonna lie, I used up all my health though. I hope I ain't on. 
I bet I got you. I'll do it tonight then. Hey, uh, put your put your email in the chat. I know it's ear to the street, if I'm not mistaken. Ear to the street at gmail.com, I think. But put it in the chat. Oh, I get it. Hold on. All right. So now, let me go back right quick. Make sure I ain't left no evidence, y'all. As I told you, I'd really be on my evidence shit. I don't be trying to leave nothing. I want to be the best cop in the world. Yo, first of all, let me get a shout out to Jacksonville police officers. Um, last night I got pulled over, and you know they showed man love. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, man, I tell y'all. Respect goes a long ways. I'm not saying the police officer don't harass, you know what I'm saying? Men and women that look like me. Um, but I, I am saying a lot of times we be so we so defensive that we automatic come off as being hostile. And these people are trained to see us as monsters. I don't know if you ever heard of the Black Law Dictionary. But we are monsters in the eyes of the law. But at, this, at the end of the day, these, some of these people are still human beings. Human beings. So with that being said is they still have a heart just like we do. They still live in the world that we live in. So when they take that uniform off, some of them understand that. Yeah, nigga. Uh-huh. And some of them understand that even with the uniform on, it can be uh-huh. If you understand what I'm saying. So. Even though, you know, um, a lot of people don't give respect. You know me, I give it. You don't have to earn no respect from me because that's just simple as that. If you in a position of authority, that means you above me in this position. You're not above me in life, but in this position, you above me. So I'm going to give you the respect due. So I got pulled over last night. Stopped in the middle of the road, didn't have on my, you know, whoop, 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 you know what I'm saying, the, the flash or none of that shit. And then the police officer, he pulled up. And I just had seen this police police officer pull somebody else over. You know what I'm saying? So I already know he was on his shit, you know. So, uh, but yeah, man, I kept, I had, I was in the wrong. When you in the wrong, what you talking for? <laughs> I, I, I stopped in the middle of the road, didn't put my blinkers on. You know what I'm saying? I was um, talking to, to one of my partners. And, you know, it, I was in the wrong. So he got my license and, and ran them and stuff. And at first, you know, I was like, yeah. Ooh, ooh. And then he was like, he was like, yeah, but, you know, you can't stop in the middle of the road. Then I said, yes, sir. Because when I'm, what the fuck I'm talking back for or arguing with a nigga that's in the right and I'm in the wrong. A lot of times we be in the wrong, but we still have that defense towards the police officer just because he a police officer or she a police officer. So, shout out to Jacksonville police officer, man. They hit me with the, hey, I'm going to give you a warning. You know what I'm saying? You know why he gave me a warning? Because respect was there. Communication. Um, you know what I'm saying? I already had everything ready for him. I had the dome light on. You know, that's the first thing we do. You know, I already had the window down. I didn't even have on my seat, though. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, that's a little tip. You take it how you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, me, I'm not against the police officer. But I do understand. You feel me? Most of my homeboys uh, are either MPs in the military or police officers out here in the real world. You know, I got, I got a lot of homeboys. I don't know how they chose that route because that's not what we were doing. <laughs> I don't know how they end up military police officer and, and, and police officer in, in the city. I don't know how that happened. But yeah, so man, shout out to Jacksonville's police officer. You know what I'm saying? They showed me mad love last night, man. And uh, let me go without a ticket, bro. And that's always a blessing. And I was able to keep my life. Yeah, because you know, sometimes you get pulled over by a Jacksonville police officer and uh, shit get ugly. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, every situation is different. You know? I, don't, I ain't trying to say the police officer are not doing any wrong out here because I do know about some wrongs that they doing too. Yeah, like um taking nigga work and selling it back to him. <laughs> it's a lot of shit be going on in Jacksonville. But like I said, you know, you stay off of their radar and you hit them with the respect 
nine times out of ten, they'll hit you back with the respect. But like I said, you can't greet a police officer like you greet your nigga from down the road. It's just a different level of authority. And they have that complex, that syndrome, that feel like, I'm the big dog. You better listen to me. Most police officers have that. They have that God complex. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's just a little something I wanted to throw in on y'all. All right. All right, so yeah, we checking, make sure we ain't leaving no evidence. We on our officer rally that shit, got it. Having a conversational partner comes in handy. I think we good. Yeah, I don't think there's no evidence around. I think we got all the nukes. Uh, oh, we, yep, see we? Got, we gotta check. Always gotta check. Okay. Hold on. So, I think I might be able to open that safe. Let me go back upstairs and check. Because I just scanned that and it gave me a code. Let's see. Yep, GG. Look at that stolen jewelry. Motherfuckers, they going downtown. Yeah. Let's go, man. I'm on my shit tonight. All right, let's check over here. Okay. All right, so I think we good to move forward. I just got that notification, ears. Hit somebody here. I'm gonna hit somebody in the head. What? Who the fuck shoot? Hit somebody in the head with the barrel. Anybody in here? Yeah, just what I need. Stolen wallet. I'm gonna keep my shotgun for now. The shotgun be letting motherfucker have it, boy. Behind you. No, up All you right. get, big man. They're closing in on us. Officer Lewis on her shit, though. Okay, Officer Lewis. I'm invincible.
Wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. I've got eyes on the stage. Looks like they haven't realized we're here yet. The soot's here. Get closer. I'll support you from the balcony. This music is driving me mad. Is that the point? Is it supposed to make you mad?
decided to join us. Now the real show is about to go down. If you're a real torch head, shoot that motherfucking tin can till it fucking rattles. And I'll take this opportunity to moisturize these golden vocal cords. Let's stay right there. Concentrate. I need some nuke. This can't be. I had everything lined up perfectly. Let us talk. Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Then get ready for a meltdown. If you think it's... That's quite a grip you got there. Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! Hey! That stuff doesn't come cheap! No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! 
I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead. Screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! That's enough! I'll talk! Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess! Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. When he's a flu, got take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. <laughs> That's a writer you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. <sighs> you fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with money. <laughs> Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But, thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Imagine 
most pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. Robocop is the name I was given. If that is what you prefer... Then Robocop it is. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences. But I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a machine built using OCP's finest technology with the brain of a fallen officer, Alex Murphy. The best money can buy, from what I hear. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. 
In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. An Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear malfunctioning machines? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy. <laughs>